Another strange place has appeared. You think we can actually eat the chocolate and other things? Uh, it looks bad for you, so don't eat it. Oh, but I intended to make them tasty. This place has so much food everywhere. Yes, because people require sustenance to live. Naturally, I have to guarantee food. Either way, this is quite some scenery. Anyway, regardless of how abrupt it might be, here's a question. What food do I hate? You hate candy. Yes, indeed, I'm impressed. Isn't it natural for me to know? We've been traveling together for so much time. And I'll get straight to the point. I actually made a little mistake when I created this place. And it got swamped in candy. There's so much of it that the pineapples I love so much got buried underneath. I can't even live here like this. Lady Cloche, aren't you exaggerating a little? So, I have a request for you. You're not going to tell us to eat all the candy, are you? I'm not an ogre, so I won't make you do that. I just want you to gather the pineapples that are buried underneath it. Simply collect the pineapples and deliver them to the me further in. I don't mind if you get some candy, but please make sure to bring more pineapples. So, the goal of this trial is to gather er, as many pineapples as Cloche likes so much. Head towards the deepest area while gathering the pineapples. You will clear the trial if you have more pineapples and candy when you reach the goal. Talk to Cloche at the entrance to see how many each you have. Well then, once you're ready, you can begin. Okay, just uh, keep an eye out for a talk topic. There's one more. Okay, it's in the second area. Okay, can't really uh, bypass that, but at least you can get by some of them. Okay, I see the talk topic way over there. Oh, yeah. Okay, fortunately it is not in the way of... Anyone is not in the way of it. Yeah, just gonna go ahead and grab these. It's too much. Okay, uh, well, if that's it, that's it. That should be good. I wasn't really counting. Thank you for coming. Let's see how many of each you have. I will only be pleased if there are more pi more pineapples and pieces of candy. One, two... I have finished counting. We got 12 lots of candy and 20 pineapples. There are more pineapples and pieces of candy. Thank you. I won't force you to take something you hate. I'm happy. I can go back to my life of eating as many pineapples as I wish now. Great! I'm glad I can make you happy. There's our sphere key. Oh good, back to the entrance. Alright, and... Well, one more trip back across the continent. And don't forget to check the talk topic. Luca, something wrong? Kinda, uh, I was remembering the place was made of sweets. Oh, there. I figured you were fine since you like sweet things, but it's pretty hard on me. It's hard on me too. Even the floor being sweets was a bit much. I guess I should expect that to be a problem. I can only think of it as torture to go that far. Yep, of course it won't let me go any further. All right, now I'll save after the infiltrator. Get in there. Don't get in there! Go to the desk! Icy Fire Dance. No, if it's Ice Fire Mountain, we're playing the wrong game. Right. 
that a battle of the girls? <laughs> oh, what is it? Suddenly breaking into laughter. That's just creepy. I know about it, you see. <laughs> uh, what do you know about? That you are utterly lacking in good taste. Taste? Indeed, you are truly first rate in your tastelessness. It's quite obvious from the cooking and goods you make. Anyone who becomes your husband is sure to suffer. You're completely lacking in the skills a wife needs. Uh, that's not true at all, right, Croa? Why bring me into this? Besides, look who's talking. You can't forget anything yourself. Oh, that, that isn't so. Oh, yes, it is. I remember when you stayed at our place, you burned dinner to a black and crisp. And I just wasn't used to using the oven in your house. Oh, is that so? Our oven is a perfectly ordinary one. Uh, anyhow, you are clumsy, lacking in taste, and utterly incapable of housekeeping. So you lack any right to be with Croa. What? Please don't talk about me like that when you can't do a thing yourself. You dare say? I can't do anything. I can't back down now that you've gone that far. Uh, hold on, you two. Calm down. Bring it on, then. We're having a cooking battle. <laughs> I can already picture you apologizing in tears. That's my line. Come on. Calm down, both of you. Okay, then. Who do we have to decide the winner? My crow, of course. We can have him eat it and marry whoever's taste better. Uh, what? I see. We're having crow choose his bride, then. That would be the end result. What the heck? And now that we've settled on a judge, let us begin at once. Wait a minute. I haven't agreed to any of this. Right on. Okay, I'm itching to show off my skill. Now then, I wonder what to make. I've already decided. <laughs> You'll excuse me. Hey, no fair. Me too. And run in the opposite direction. Brave responsibility. Wait. Can I even survive this? That too is fate. Resign yourself to it. More to the point, why don't you go see how it's doing? I was going. You might be able to alter your cruel fate slightly. R right. So what now? What I'm more worried about would be... Well, we... We're locked in the choice anyways. Yep, close shape. <laughs> ah, Crow, what could be the matter? Uh, nothing. I just thought I'd like to watch you cooking. Oh, uh, really? Fine, do as you wish, but don't get in my way if you please. Very well. By the way, what are you doing now? Did you tell by looking? I'm measuring the ingredient amounts. Go on, behold the number of the scale. What do you think of this precision? 3.000 grams of sugar. Well, you don't need to be quite that exact. What are you saying? I have to make it exactly as the recipe says. What are you going to do if, if the food's flavor is ruined because of a 0 0.1 gram error? Well, just 0 0.1 grams won't make much difference. You're so imprecise. That's the trouble with men. Uh, uh, oh no, the Kalakali, the Kalakali sees I was sleeping. Uh, Lady Cloche, I knew it. I see them six seconds longer than the recipe. Six seconds? You have a complaint? Uh, no. Cooking is being faithful to the recipe. After all, the recipe states the amounts that bring out the greatest flavor of that dish, yes? As long as I follow these numbers, I'm sure to be able to make a supremely delicious dish. Lady Cloche, I don't think that's where the soul of cooking lies. What do you mean? I think there's something more important than cooking than making exactly to the recipe. What would that be? Love! Forget the amounts, forget the recipe. If it's sweeter than the recipe, that's just fine as long as you like it. But, yes, you may get a tasty dish just like the recipe if you measure precisely, but there are people who enjoy sweeter or spicier flavoring. Cooking to the person's taste is true cooking. Is that the kind of cooking that's full of love? Yes, yes, it may just be as you say, Croa. Lady Cloche. Croa, thank you. I feel as though you taught me what cooking is. Lady Cloche! No, that's quite all right. I am truly thankful to you. It's not that, Lady Cloche. Huh? Something's smelling really burnt. Hmm? Oh no! I was cooking meat in the oven! What? But then... <coughs> oh, I knew it! Wow. Oh, completely burnt. It's... Huh? It's love! Uh, what? I made it a little burnt to match your taste. Hold on. I don't have that sort of taste. <laughs> you do now, Croa. Accept your helplessness. Now then, I'm done. I'm done too! Uh, what is this? A black object with a soapy smell? A hodgepodge of the most grotesque? It's sir a sirloin steak! It's so leo gratin! <laughs> Quickly now! Eat them and judge which will taste better! Uh, I have to eat this! Go on! Quickly! Uh, Alright, fine. <sighs> might, as well go, might as well go for broke. I'll start with Lady Cloches! Where am I? 
Bro, I thank goodness you're still alive! You've been passed out here for quite a while. I see. I have to think of it, the last thing I remember is eating Lady Cloche's cooking. Lady Cloche's cooking must have been pretty incredible! You, you went through a horrible experience this time. You did bring it on yourself, though. Did I? Put your head on your chest and think it over. Very well, though. It's more like pity for your misfortune this time, but I'll give you this. Did we win? We survived. That's all that matters. Yes, I hesitate about giving it to you this time, but you did understand Lady Cloche more deeply, regardless. I see. Seems Luke and Cloche were further able to understand each other. There's nothing more for me to teach you on the third stratum. All that remains is to put it into practice. Let's have the completion ceremony at the Sphere Gate. Make sure to come. And unlocks the last Imperial we can finish the plates! <laughs>